As the fighting rages between Israel and Hamas in Gaza and the death toll continues to climb, the international community is increasingly pressing for a ceasefire. But it's not clear who will eventually take control of Gaza and its 2.2 million people, many of whom lived in poverty before the war began. It doesn't seem to me that there is even consensus among the U.S., Israel, uh, the regional Arab countries, and the international community on, on what to do uh, uh, with Gaza after, after the war. Who's going to be uh, ruling Gaza? U.S. President Joe Biden has said he would like to see a revitalized Palestinian Authority, or PA, take control in Gaza once the war ends. But according to polls, 80 to 90 percent of Palestinians disapprove of the PA and its 88-year-old leader, Mahmoud Abbas. It is seen as corrupt and ineffective in the West Bank territory it already controls and incapable of governing Gaza. Nevertheless, some PA officials say they are prepared to return to Gaza 16 years after Hamas threw them out in a bloody coup. I say that it is the right of the PLO and the right of the Palestinian Authority to return to the Gaza Strip. Am I going to Mozambique? I'm going to my country and my people. And even if it is destroyed, it is my responsibility. But it must be within the framework of a comprehensive political vision that is supported regionally and internationally. Palestinian analysts say that 17 years after the last parliamentary elections, Palestinians must elect more qualified leadership who can unite them. You're having the international community look for an administration that can provide the technocratic levels of governance, like health, education, but misses the entire point of the fact that Palestinians want and need legitimate uh, leaders. They want a leadership that can advocate for them, uh, even if you're talking about on a diplomatic stage here or, or on a diplomatic level. And that is something that is completely missing in these discussions about the day after. Egypt recently offered a three-stage peace proposal, starting with a two-week ceasefire and the release of 40 Israeli hostages, then the formation of a Palestinian technocratic government to hold elections, and finally a complete ceasefire in exchange for the release of all Israeli hostages, freedom for all Palestinian prisoners, and a complete Israeli withdrawal from Gaza. The Egyptian proposal leaves Hamas intact, which Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has repeatedly said is unacceptable. Some Israeli analysts say the goal of eliminating Hamas is unrealistic. Hamas, first of all, is an idea before an organization, and uh, Hamas won't be vanished. Uh, even if uh, thousands of Hamas terrorists uh, and uh, political leaders will be killed during the war, they will still have uh, dozens of thousands of, of uh, supporters in Gaza and, of course, in other arenas like the West Bank. Netanyahu maintains that neither Hamas nor the Palestinian Authority can play a role in the future of Gaza. But he has not laid out a plan for the future of the area, and it is not clear how Gaza will be governed or eventually rebuilt. Linda Gradstein, VOA News, Jerusalem.